Hello friends, in this video we will discuss how to create different backgrounds in Photoshop. First we will use this option new to create one blank sheet, enter the width 800 and height 600 and then click OK. So blank sheet here available and then use the gradient tool to create the background design in this file and use from here the gradient this type of gradient and drag on the screen of this file before dragging use this option mode change mode in normal form and then drag the mouse left button so after that click on this option circle rainbow click on this option and then select the color multicolor from here and then use mode option screen from here and set the gradient radial gradient from this option so i think you understand what have to do first again repeat circle circular rainbow and then select the multicolor from here and then gradient and then select the mode screen and then create here like this type of design on this screen dragging and creating the circles so i think you understand and then after apply the filter option to give more effect to this image or background so go in this option artistic click on paint doves to give the doves to this image reduce from here the zooming and then adjust the brush size from here like this and uh, sharpness from here and use the brush type from here you can use many type of brushes from here like light rough on, uh, dark rough on, wide sharp wide blurry and we will use the sparkly and then click ok so like this sparkles will be created on the image so after that use the option of from here brush strokes spatters then use spatter option from here brush style and adjust the spark radius from here and then smoothness from here to make the smoothness in this image and create this like design and then similarly again use this brush stroke option <laughs> option sparked strokes click on this option spark strokes and uh, increase the length of stroke length and uh, spray radius from here or just some part from here and click ok so our background first background created we create too many background in this video so first background save this file first background so i think you understand how to create this background so now we will create another background open new file enter the width again 800 height 600 then click ok and then use this option paint bucket tool fill the color in this bucket this foreground color after that go in this option custom sh shape tool and select from here the hard shape drag on this file and before dragging just to remember shape layer should be selected from here and then give the color to this shape from here red color like this and then create the copy of this layer layer wire copy use the shortcut key control plus j and then you will create this and use rotate this option image by using this option and put it here and again create before creating apply this option increase or decrease in this layer size and then again use this option layer via copy 
and create the another copy put it here and uh, rotate this uh, image like this and uh, apply the transformation and put this uh, here and create the another layer of this layer copy of this layer and put it here reduce the size and put it here like this way so i think you understand how to create this uh, design in this file and then go in filter option and use the option of filter artistic go in roughen pastels use this option roughen pastels and then click okay and before using this option just understand before using this filter option you have to combine all these layers combine all these layers by using flatten image so after using this option flatten image all layers are combined by this option and then you will use this option artistic go in uh, this option or uh, roughen pastels and uh, adjust the some stroke length from here like this adjust stroke length and some stroke detail adjust from here and then you will select the texture brick style or uh, bull burl lap and then you can use canvas option and use uh, sand sandstone or use uh, load texture so there are many types no need to load texture just use this option canvas or sandstone theek okay? hai means so after that uh, use this option leaf to set the effects of this option then click okay so this background will look like this and then use the another option of uh, filter so after that use the option of this pastelate use this option fragment so the image will create like this background second is ready and then save this uh, background give second background so we will create another background so i think you understand how to create this background now we will create another background again enter the width and height and we will create a another background again using this option gradient tool so use this option gradient tool and select from here the color this again and drag this uh, on the screen before dragging use this option linear gradient and set the mode normal and drag on the screen like this and then use this option gradient tool use this option gradient tool how this gradient tool is created from here create new tool present so to create the gradient tool use this option and then we will use this gradient tool and click here again radial gradient or you can use this diamond gradient also you can use this diamond gradient also because we have already used this radial gradient now we will use this uh, diamond gradient so click create here like this diamond here so i think you understand how to use this option create some gradient here then use option of filter in noise dust and scratch use this option very nice option to give dust and scratch effect to this image use uh, adjust this radius from here and thrust hold effect from here and then click okay so then after give another effect that is in distortion a ripple effect so give this effect to this background ripple effect adjust this amount from here and then click okay so it's a ripple effect and after that again use option in stylish go in stylish use this option extrude enter the size of extrude and enter the depth of extrude and select you want 
the extrude in blocks or pyramid i want to introduce this in pyramid then click okay so uh, or you can use not use this option use this option not a pyramid use this option uh, sorry again just uh, wrong clicking go in again stylize and use this option extrude and select the blocks from here and create the background like this so i think you understand how to use this option in adobe photoshop